The mystery of Greek fire, the most terrifying weapon of the Middle Ages, imagine a weapon so deadly it could set the sea ablaze, burn enemy ships to ashes, and leave its victims with no escape. Known as Greek fire, this terrifying invention of the Byzantine Empire was a game-changer in medieval warfare. Yet, despite its fearsome reputation, its secrets remain one of history's greatest mysteries. What was Greek fire, first used by the Byzantine Empire around 672 AD, Greek fire was an incendiary weapon deployed primarily in naval battles. It wasn't just a flame, it was a liquid inferno, capable of clinging to surfaces and burning even on water. Byzantine ships were equipped with specially designed tubes that could shoot this blazing liquid at enemy fleets leaving them no chance to retreat or survive. One ancient account describes its devastating effect, the ships threw liquid flames from all sides. The crew members burned alive, leapt into the sea, and drowned. Those in armor sank, while the swimmers were consumed by fire. In another account, Greek fire is compared to dragons swimming in the sea, spewing brilliant flames, and roaring like thunder. The ingredients, still a mystery, what made Greek fire so deadly? Historians and scientists have speculated for centuries. Some suggest it was made from crude petroleum or naphtha, a highly flammable liquid. Others believe the formula included turpentine, pitch, sulfur, lime, animal fat, and even asphalt, but despite these theories, no one has been able to recreate its exact properties. Modern technology has come close, but the combination of ingredients, the delivery system, and the ignition mechanism remain an enigma, a secret worth dying for. Why is the formula for Greek fire lost to history? The Byzantine Empire treated it as their most guarded state secret, considered their national weapon, Alex Roland, a professor of military history at Duke University, explained. The Greek fire was so complex that no single person or document ever contained all the knowledge about it. Even the engineers who worked on it only understood small, fragmented parts of the system. The Byzantines deliberately divided knowledge of Greek fire among a select few families, ensuring that no one person could replicate the weapon entirely. This secrecy not only protected the formula from enemies but also ensured that if one family's knowledge was compromised, the full weapon could never fall into the wrong hands, a double-edged sword, ironically. This extreme secrecy contributed to the eventual decline of Greek fire. As generations passed, the knowledge was fragmented and lost even to the Byzantines themselves. By the time the empire faced its final days, their ultimate weapon was no longer in use. What do you think? Does the mystery of Greek fire fascinate you? Could we one day unlock its secrets? Or should it remain buried in the annals of history? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you're intrigued by stories of ancient mysteries, lost technologies, and forgotten empires, make sure to subscribe to our channel. Together, we'll uncover the secrets of the past and explore the incredible tales that shaped our world.